Yo, what is going on guys? CW Pokey here back with a brand new VGC episode, but this time it's actually going to be something a little special. It's not going to be Battle Spot, but it's actually going to be against a phenomenal VGC player. I am with John Who himself. Hey guys. And John, why don't you go ahead and tell uh, the people a little bit about what you've done, how you've placed and stuff, and you know, all of your accomplishments. Okay, well, I don't think they're that great, but um, my name is John Who. Uh, Let's see. Last big thing I did was go to New York uh, and win a premier challenge with world-class players attending in attendance. Um, in the past, I've placed pretty well in the 2014 VGC season, getting a top four of nationals, going to worlds. And then VGC 2015, I made it to day two of nationals. I uh, did not make it to worlds that year, but I think I still did have a pretty good performance of that season. And uh, this season, I'm doing pretty okay. I took that PC uh, and then... Uh, just playing, waiting for regionals and nationals to crop up. I'm going to this. So as you guys can tell, I'm going to be faced against a very tough opponent today. But it's all right. We got this, right? Right? Maybe. Probably not. <laughs> uh, you got it last time I was on this channel. That's true, but that was a it's... while back, you know. I've gotten oh, rustier and rustier. You've only gotten better. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. We'll oh, see. Man. We'll see which way the luck the luck rolls today. We'll see. We'll see. All right, so I'm ready to jump into the battle whenever you are. I'm also ready whenever awesome. you are, dude. Now, I mean, this isn't really going to spoil much because John will be able to see my team, but I'm actually running the same team we've been using for a little while. I'll probably, this I think will be the last match that we use this team uh, in its entirety for. Definitely ready to move on. Oh, my goodness, man. <laughs> and, and the, the team I'm using is the team I used at the Premier Challenge. Um, it has a few changes to it. But it's pretty much just the same team. So um, we'll see how it does. I'm not liking the look of uh, Chris's team here, though. Well, see, the thing is, I knew about your team, but I actually had no idea you were running Klefki. I didn't know that that was on there. So that already kind of oh, scares huh. me. Although, I think I know what that's usually for, I think. Yeah. If, if it looks <laughs> like it's for something, it's probably for that. It's probably for that? Okay, cool. Yeah. It's a good thing neither of us are carrying that. <laughs> the Smeargle, right? Yeah. Okay, good. That's what I thought. Um, yeah. We could talk about Smeargle during the battle, but... Definitely, definitely. It's, bad Pokemon. it's just so bad. And by oh, bad, man. I, people will just use it in such wrong ways. And then some people <laughs> use it good, like, well. Yeah. Those people are okay. Those people are fine. But for the most part, it's no good. Dude, I gotta say, I have, I have no idea what to do here. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, to find okay. out then. Make sure not to choose five Pokemon too. Oh yeah, good call, good call. Rules. All right, I think we got it. I think we're good. Now go. this battle is also going to be a little different as far as commentary goes because obviously I am facing John live, so I don't want to explain my moves every single turn, but we will probably elaborate a little bit as the moves. Once, occur. once we, yeah, yeah. So that's what usually happens. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. We're gonna try to mind game each other a little bit. <laughs> Oh, this lead. This lead, this lead. Okay. Oh, man. I gotta say, I'm actually familiar with this lead. Uh, I've been practicing it, actually. I've, do yeah. I've done my research on John's team quite a bit. Uh, I really yeah. always like John's it's, team. It's, it's a little side effect that I didn't. I don't really like. <laughs> but people have started to um, calculate damage calculations and um, try to get my, try to get their heads around my spreads now. Uh. So... This team, this team now, I think, performs slightly less uh, because people are preparing for it now. Mm. Whereas in the past, uh, no one was really preparing for it at all. Especially right now. If you go onto Global Link and you click on like so any of these Pokemon that I have right now, uh, you'll probably find another Pokemon on the team on that like commonly used partners or whatever. Yeah. Especially if you click Lapras, because Lapras has like the top six Pokemon. There's like all of my Pokemon plus Groudon. I remember seeing Lapras like on your team, and I was just thinking like, this dude brought it back from the graveyard. Like, I thought Lapras was I done, did. and apparently no. I thought it was done. Now, if you don't mind me asking, maybe you want to save until a little bit later. But what really does Lapras do for your team? You know, like why do you? Okay, so so Lapras is kind of like there for Kyogre, and mm -hmm. there's not much else it's for really. It's just kind of for Kyogre. Okay. Uh, so. And I guess it, it probably really helped you out as well for um, against Aaron's Palkia. With, with Trick Room. Um, yeah, it does have yeah. a benefit of hitting Palkia really hard. I don't think it... Uh, oh. Dropping it. Ooh. Oh, shoot. That's not good. <laughs> Alright, so I noticed you have the Trick. 
yeah. so I'm already a little scared about that. And it didn't work, so this uh. is one of the this is one of the new things I'm trying out. And it's not working out. So. <laughs> we'll see. At least took care of the threat here. That is a Landorus. If any of you have watched my um, team analysis with uh, Aaron Zhang, who we will be uh, linking to later because he also did a friendly battle with me. Exactly. Uh, but that's for later. Uh, we will find out that my team is very weak to rocks and uh, Landris. <laughs> so it's a bad time. Oh Basically. man, I'm already at such a far behind. Like <laughs> it's basically a four-three game at this point. Yeah, that turn one went pretty well. I was wondering if you were going to take the Draco or not. And to be honest, I probably should have not used Trick in that scenario, but I did anyway. I was just like, we're going to do it. We're going to cheat the Xerneas. Uh, but speaking of Xerneas, Xerneas can turn games around really quickly right now. So That is uh, true. Very threatening, and I can't really do much right now. But Oh, you withdraw Rayquaza. Uh-oh. What is that? Four Blaze? The Ho- Oh, alright. Alright. Wishing I had Lando right now. <laughs> Ooh, the double switch. Okay. Yeah, we can't stay in here. Gotcha. <laughs> I was a little worried about this one because I was like, maybe you'll stay in and continue to go for the trick, but I was like, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe yes. <laughs> maybe yes. <clears throat> okay, so Mega Evolve is going to happen. You bring in that Lapras, so... I'm going to assume it's the typical Assault Vest set, but I'm going to guess it's you're typical. probably not going to... Okay, so you do. <laughs> it's typical Assault uh, Vest. I mean, it was, in the, it was in the team thing, so... Yeah, that's true. Now this is an issue, so... Except, neither of these Pokemon I don't think really mine too much. I mean, you got Ho-Oh with a crazy special defense bulk, and then you got an Assault Vest Lapras. <laughs> yeah, that's true. The king of special defense, essentially. King of special defense. Oh, shoot, man. Well, no, the king of special defense would be, like, Blissey, but I don't know anyone who uses Blissey. That's true, that's true. <clears throat> but, this is a pretty cool Pokemon. I think, I've been thinking about using it, to be honest. Cause, a Blissey? Uh, yeah, because Blissey <laughs> just, like, tanks whatever it wants on the special side. That's true, that it's, is true. It's back really hard, so I, I've been messing around with it in my head. I don't think I can find any place good for it right now, but um, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> crap, crap. Okay, we got this. We got this. We're just going to dazzle and gleam everything. How much does that do? That does next to nothing, man. That's plus two. That is plus two. Ah, we're dead. We're gone. Okay, but this yeah. double edge. Oh, the crit. Yeah. The crit. <laughs> it didn't matter. <laughs> we're gone anyway. We it always matters, man. It always <laughs> matters. Now, what did you go for here? Sheer cold! Oh my gosh! Holy hey, crap! Man. Holy crap! You gotta play to your outs, dude. That is true, that is true. Oh <laughs> man, okay. Alright. the Toga Kiss. Oh man. Now I'm just scared because I know that that's sheer cold. Like, you missed once. I missed once. Probably I missed won't twice. miss again. We don't know, dude. <laughs> this is the price we pay. Oh crap, dude! I should have. I probably shouldn't have made that double switch. To be honest, I probably should have just stayed in and tried again. It definitely did help me switch <laughs> in or get that set up pretty easily, but yeah. Still, the Pokemon you switched into were still really good for Xerneas. Uh, no, I just thought just you were like... gonna just go for a dazzling gleam, so I definitely yeah, yeah. Stay in and take well, see, damage. I was so worried that it would actually backfire, and you would stay in and go for the trick, and then you know screw me over after that. But yeah, I was like, maybe not. See, maybe this he'll is one of these. This is one of those hard reads that you see top play, top level players making. Yeah, yeah. In this case, it worked out really well because he got the Xerneas set up, but um, it didn't it didn't work out for me this time. So mm. I'm probably gonna end up losing this game unless I can pick up the sheer cold. Oh gosh. Will Moonblast take you out of plus two? Probably not. No, it doesn't. Not oh quite. gosh. I was hoping maybe it would be strong enough, but that double edge will take you out. But the question That's, is, what about Sheer Cold? Oh gosh. And if I hit. Oh no. <laughs> it is. It's coming. Ah, oh, <laughs> oh man. Okay, now people who may have seen this video on my channel, it was actually the Chris versus uh, Red fight. And there was actually a, a pretty clutch sheer cold in that game, but uh, it looks like it's not going to work this time around. I was uh, worried that, you know, Justice would come back and destroy me. Okay, what do I have? I don't want to just throw this match away. I've done that a lot of times in 16 already. Uh, okay. 
So correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I'm okay here. Okay, you go yeah, for you're, protect. you're fine. Unless okay. you mess up in a big way. But this is all right, because this is what, especially in the fighting game community, this is what they call downloading. This is where you are just kind of learning. You're just seeing how you're going to absolutely 4-0 me and destroy me in the next game. We'll see what happens. <laughs> but I think I <laughs> got downloaded, you know. You've never seen those, you know? The, no, the I haven't, no. Oh, man, you got to watch Evo and all that stuff. Now Pokémon's going to be at uh, Evo this year. That's true. So. Pokémon's a cool game. Yeah. Uh, the problem here is, is um, I have, like, almost zero fighting game experience. And by zero, I mean, like, I have some... <laughs> I, I've forgotten all my fighting game skills though. So oh man! If I tried to pick it up, I'd have to spend a lot of time with it, and that's the that's the main difference between um, a competitive fighting game and Pokemon. Pokemon, mm. you don't really have to like practice a lot per se. You just have to like know what to do in certain situations. Like there's no button combo or reaction combo or like yeah. whatever. Um. So that's just the way this works in yeah. Pokemon. That's why Pokemon is like. Kind of just pick up and learn it, and then you're good to go, and you'll never forget ever again. Mm. By the know, way, guys, I, I don't think I mentioned this, but we're doing a best two out of three. So just in case you guys were like, oh, yeah, game over. Wait, why are they still going? We're going to do game another match. Over. <laughs> game over. It's not game over yet. No, nah, it's not game over yet. You still have two games to come back in and wreck shop. All right. Let's try this again. Let's try this again. What are we going to do this time? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. This is I always one of those things. Was. I didn't find out what his fourth Pokemon was. I don't even remember what my fourth Pokemon was. <laughs> I'm on, to be honest. Probably. I usually bring that in every match. Hint, hint, usually, you know. May hint, not bring it this yeah. game. May not. Hint. Oh, okay, okay. Now, I know you added that hoe on your team. As you guys probably have not seen too many hoes around, it's really good at uh, at walling out uh, Groudons and what was the other Pokemon? Xerneas, right? Yeah. Yeah, so... so if I was able to stick around um, and maybe get off, like, a Sacred Fire or two, mm -hmm. could have handled that game a lot better, but um, that didn't work out. Yeah. Uh, the Kangaskhan had Double Edge, and even if he didn't have Double Edge, I took the chip damage coming in, and that was not good. So. Mm. I think I'm ready though, so you can go again whenever you're ready. I know. I'm just thinking about this fourth Pokemon here. It's a tough choice. I feel like I made the wrong choices, but hey, we're gonna go for it. We're gonna try it. Live and learn, right? Live and learn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll see, dude. All right. So you lead out with a Rayquaza and Togekiss, same lead. All right, all right. I'm not sure if this is gonna be good or bad for me, actually. Okay. I'm okay with this. Because I live with something <laughs> totally different. I think I'm okay with that. You think you're okay with that? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm okay with this. Yeah, that means you're good. <laughs> that means you're okay with this. I'm actually not okay with this lead. I'm, I'm not very confident right now. I know that Mega Rayquaza is uh, a good, strong, mixed attacker. Um, since I did not bring Landorus this time around, I, I will spoil it. It's actually Assault Vest. So seeing that your Draco Meteor actually one-shotted it, really worried me because it's I figured probably, I would live it's it. It's probably a damage roll because I did not knock out Aaron's. I don't know if you're running anything different than just like a 252 spread. Yeah, no, just 252 speed uh, and attack. Yeah. So it might it might just be a roll because Aaron's is the same. Okay. He might be running some bulk actually, but I don't think he is. Mm. So we'll find out. Okay, okay. So what do I want to do here is the, the million dollar question. Million dollar question. I feel like this turn is going to actually be a huge turn. Um, First turn is very important. Yeah. If anyone tells you otherwise, they're probably wrong. <laughs> There's just like, who can get the first, like, I guess we're going to call it first blood. It's not really first blood, it's like the first move to mm -hmm. like push their opponent towards like their loss condition. Yeah, exactly. Or towards your win condition, I guess. Because, well, uh, and VGC 16 is such an explosive game, like everything hits so hard, there's yeah. so many one shots, so you know, if you slip up, if you get paralyzed, if you flinch, you know, it's it's crucial, it is crucial. Ooh, here it is, the Tailwind. I <sighs> went for the Tailwind, I know that you're not carrying the Tailwind, you went for the trick, okay, on to... Sure. I'm gonna give your Crobat that good <laughs> Scarf. Oh, okay, Scarfed, and now oh, you got the Citrus. Hmm. Oh, and you went for the Earth Power, I didn't know you had Earth Power, Ooh. shoot. It's gone. <laughs> oh, that didn't matter, I don't think. Uh, to be fair, some, I went for the eruption. You were some odd bulky spread, though. You might have been in <laughs> I thought you'd predict to protect, and uh, I went for the eruption there. Nah, there's no reason to. Like, even if you protect, I don't really, like, lose anything out of it. That's true. Don't get off my trick into your crowbat. Oh, shoot. 
Shoot, shoot, shoot. Well, now what? You have the follow me, so I gotta be careful about that. I think now I know your moveset, which is good. Yeah. Did you have did you have Earth Power even in uh Oh in, that means in, you don't yeah. have a certain other move. Interesting. Okay. Not carrying the extreme speed. That's correct. Do you mind sharing why? Yeah, okay. So I think extreme speed is bad. Like I don't think it's bad in the like when you look at it, it's plus two priority, which is great. And look, it's eighty base power, so it's also good. Mm. I think the main problem with extreme speed is that it is eighty base power. <laughs> and it's not stab, so it's weak. It's also not hitting anything super effectively, so it's like yeah. really weak. So I don't know why you would want to waste it. The only reason you would use extreme speed, I think, is to if you want your ray to be a late game user, a late game ray. So you mm -hmm. bring it in later when everything is weak, and just pick stuff off because extreme speed is doing like maybe forty percent, I think, the stuff. Yeah. Um, but I think extreme speed is bad. Like the only other reason I could think of is if you're using setup moves. With like Swords Dance or Dragon Dance, because then you can get a really big extreme speed. Mm. But I even toyed with that idea in my head, and it didn't really work out very well, I think. I think it, it's just not strong enough. Like, you have to be running Swords Dance or Dragon Dance or a Choice Band to make it do any damage by itself. And so, I don't, I just don't think it's good. Yeah. Um, but not running extreme speed also creates a good mind game. Because if you look right now, a lot of Rayquaza are running extreme speed. And, mm. you know. It's appealing on a base level, so people are obviously going to go for it. But uh, I still think it's just kind of an overall bad move, just in general. Like, oh yeah. gosh, so, so not running extreme speed can cause your opponents to do a double take if they think you're carrying it, and then you just don't use it ever. The it's double kind of, switch, kind of like yeah, it's kind of like um, having no protect on all your Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. But that that's doesn't true. work. You should have protect up on your Pokemon. I'm just saying, don't do that. But well, uh, yeah, because it kind of backfired on me. You know, I wasn't expecting the Earth Power at all. I thought a Draco was coming in. Yeah. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's a damage roll, at least maybe on yours. Maybe it's strong Actually, enough to... Actually, no, no, no. Draco Meteor is stronger than Earth Power against Groudon. That's true. <laughs> so, yeah. So I was screwed regardless. Earth Power is just a nicer... Oh, shoot. Not good. You know what really sucks is I wanted to gyro ball or possibly power with that slot. I'm just I'm playing yeah. from so far behind now, and the tailwind kind of screws me over. Not your strict Pokemon, yeah. The tailwind does less damage to your Togekiss now because of my Ferrothorn being faster. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, that's, unless... right. that's true. That's true. Yeah, because yeah. your so... if your Ferrothorn was originally min minimum speed Ferrothorn, mm -hmm. uh, you would have doubled your speed into something higher, and then you would have lowered your own base power. That's yeah, so you have to wait. You have to stall your own tailwind. Oh, isn't that fun? <laughs> I know. Don't you I, that happens? It's like when you just had a tailwind and you, you point a trick room and you're just like... I just felt like bringing Crobat, like that was the Pokemon I was a little unsure about, was bringing Crobat. And sure enough, you know, it, Ooh, it really did right. backfire on me. Oh, the freeze dry. Dang, yeah, this uh, is one please. of those games. I don't think I've got this one. Tailwind's out? Tailwind out yet? Please? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, so just okay, so Tailwind's gone, but it's still a four-three game. So, oh crap. <laughs> okay, I think we can do this. Oh, it's... you stayed in. Yeah, I don't have a reason to go out. I thought you wouldn't want to take a gyro ball. You know, you probably don't really care to do too much to the with your Togekiss right now. Right now, it's not doing anything. But that's not the point. The point is, uh... I need to have it so I can redirect later. <laughs> that's true. If I okay, Dang. I didn't flinch. Dang. No flinches, man. But I did get the leech seed, so that does help out. You know, I get some of my health back. But a gyro ball would have been better. I just could have sworn that ho was gonna come in. I was like, oh yeah, he'll bring that in right now. Mm -hmm. uh, that would have been a good move too, because you would have gotten uh, the leech seed up, and I would have been taking the residual damage the whole yeah. time. Yeah. You could have had an easier time dealing with it. Well, and I don't know if you still have it, but you had leftovers on your ho, right? It's kind I still of a bulkier. Have it. You still have it. I think yeah. it's the best item. Uh, yeah. The other items are like Citrus Berry, the Rock Weakening Berry, Lum Berry, I guess. Lum Berry is good on anything, to be honest, because of Smeargle. Mm, yeah, that's true. Uh, and I guess... I'm not... Uh, Moringa Berry? That's pretty cool. And mm. Keat Berry. Those, those are cool, too. Yeah. We'll get boosts, and then Ho will be really extremely cool. There are some items that sound good in theory, but fail, fall flat. So that's like Assault Vest. And, uh, 
Soul Vest and like Choice Band, I think. Or Life Orb. Yeah. People run yeah. back to stuff, and then I'm just like, uh. I've seen a lot of choice items on like. I saw one on Dialga. That was a pretty popular item pick okay. for Dialga. Yeah. And. I mean, I don't know. What do you think about that kind of thing? Because I feel like Dialga is a really good Trick Room kind of Pokemon, you know? Yeah, I think Dialga. Well, okay. The thing about Dialga is it has a, such a weird stat. Okay. <laughs> that one HP. Wow. Fine, I guess. Wow. Uh, but Dialga has a weird, weird stat, though. Like, compared to. Mm. Most... Well, so does Palkia, to be honest. So. I don't know. It really depends, I guess. Because, like. If you want your Dialga to be an attacker instead of a supporter, then yeah, go, just go a choice or life orb or something. Mm. Um, but Dialga's main niche, as is Palkia's, is that it uses Trick Room and it's restricted. And it's bulky and it does damage. It's like, that's a lot of things you can do with your Dialga and or Palkia. Yeah. They have such unique typings um, that it's really hard to justify using something that's not Trick Room. But... I don't know, Dialga is just kind of flexible. The only sad thing is, is that it doesn't do well against Xerneas, even though it's a skill type. That's true, yeah, because it's uh, just neutral, because it's still part dragon, so... I was sur I was really surprised to see Palkia becoming such a popular Trick Room user. Yeah, I know, right? Um, but I guess it's also probably the, the Cybertron effect, where, you know... The Cybertron effect. A lot of people see uh, <laughs> Aaron running Cybertron it. Cybertron effect, no. Yeah. Uh, honestly, he might have had that effect on my team. I don't think so, though, because, like, honestly, I was getting a lot of attention even without the, the stuff from his channel. Not to mm. say that his channel isn't good, because it is good for getting stuff out there. It just spreads it out a lot faster. Like, yeah. So it's pretty nice. Also, I just made the foolish mistake of forgetting I was scarfed <laughs> with oh. that trick. Oh, boy. I think we're just going to go for the... Uh... Shoot, man. <laughs> ah, nice. Stay in. Uh... I just I didn't want to switch out at that point. I figured it was just an open target, but you probably went. Oh, the substitute. Okay. Yeah. No, I figured if you wanted to go for Tailwind, you're gonna lock yourself into it. So I don't. I can just leave it there forever. Yeah. That's gonna lock me out. Oh no, it's not. Cause uh, that Tailwind, uh, man, it screwed me over. Yeah, now I'm tailwind. faster. <laughs> nice. Gosh. Nice. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this match I've just been playing in a with my back against the wall for pretty much the whole game. Oh man, but it, it's cool because I'm learning some stuff. Yeah. Uh, learning that leading Groudon is probably a downright terrible idea. Um, <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Knowing that Landorus, you know, is a, is a damage range, at least on that, that Draco Meteor. So I have a lot of valuable information. And, and this is something, if people have not seen my premier, or my previous matches against, like, John and Adib, um, best two out of three, you know, is, is a whole different game because you really can, you really can learn a lot and not necessarily uh, just count yourself out if you lose game one or game two, you know. You have other options to, to pull out the win, so... One of the good things that happened to the past few nationals, uh, so now they're all best of three. Even mm -hmm. Swiss is best of three. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's just really nice to go through it. Yeah, and nationals this year, I don't believe it's confirmed, but it's it's most likely going to be best it's two out of three again, right? Most likely, yeah. Yeah. Even it'd be kind of weird if they got rid of it. Little that. in season showdowns have been popping up recently. Mm. As well, as, like if you live in America, especially, they are starting their t tournament organizers are th thinking about like or by. I guess abiding by popular demand that everything is best two out of three, even the Swiss. Mm. A pretty cool move, especially because a mid-season showdown definitely has enough time to like have two out of three uh, matches because they're smaller in general than regionals, so they don't take forever. Yeah, and they're not as big as nationals, which demands like consistency across the results. Yeah, hopefully, like you would hope that's what you want out of your national tournament. Yeah, no, last year's Nationals, like, best two out of three was a lot of fun, but, man, it's exhausting. Like, it's awesome. it's a lot of battles. It's it's pretty rigorous. It's really fun, though, you know, if you're if you're yeah. in the nearby area and you just kind of, if you're able to make it and qualify, you know, it's it's definitely a worthwhile experience. Uh, I've been I've been surprised by Togekiss's damage output. <laughs> zero EV. So that uh, was a crit, but I think it would have knocked you into range if you, you would knock yourself out with double edge the next yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, no, Togekiss has, like, base, Togekiss is like, pretty 120, strong. right? Yeah, it's yeah. pretty strong for some reason. It has, a, it has a lot of good natural special attack. Yeah. Because um, I've been using it on other teams. Uh, I've actually been using a lot of similar things, you know, the Rayquaza and the Togekiss kind of thing. Um, and it's been putting in a lot of work. I've been pleasantly surprised. I've never Togekiss, really been a fan of Togekiss. Togekiss is probably one of the best Pokemon in this, in this uh, format because it just takes a lot of damage. It takes a lot of abuse. It redirects, and it's also naturally strong. Like, yeah. There's a See, lot of things there that are just good. 
Okay. I would have totally disagreed with you at the start of the season, but now that I've used it, I'm like, yeah, Togekiss is actually solid. Like, I just, I never thought it would have been, but I'm seeing a lot less, like, physical attackers, too, so I can build it a little bit more special-based. And... Yeah, 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 definitely. Okay, let's try to not lead in a way that's really going to screw me over this time. <laughs> Problem here is that I don't know what you're going to lead anymore. Yeah. And, you know, it's kind of this tricky scenario of are you going to lead the same thing or are you going to switch it up this time around? Because I, I noticed you stayed with the same lead despite losing. You know, a lot of players, if they lose, they change up their game plan. Right. Oh, the same thing happened in my set uh, in the premier challenge against Aaron in the finals. I mm -hmm. led Rayquaza Togekiss for the first game and I lost that game. And mm -hmm. in the second game, I won the same thing, but I won that game. So. It's just all about how you play. All about how you play. And then the third game, I made a really terrible lead, but I ended up winning anyway. <laughs> nice. You can go check that out later if you, if you want. But right now, we got to focus on the battle at hand. This is so. This is so sketchy, man. I just. <laughs> I just feel like every, every lead option I do can possibly just get totally countered here. And this is what I talked about. You know, I, all I had to say was John just downloaded me in game one. That's why, you know, you guys may have think, oh, you know, Chris, man, you're so good. You, you beat John. You're such a good player. No, it was just, no, no, know, no, he's no, just no. taking his time. Look, if, if, you're, if your set goes to game three, it means it's interesting because people that are learning true. and adapting and not getting, like, blown out. That is very true. Speaking of adapting, this sucks. Ooh, this is a nice <laughs> this lead. sucks. This sucks. This sucks. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, I like this lead. Yeah, I'm sure you do. I thought I'm you were sure going to leave the Landorus, to be honest. So, it would have been nice if you led that, too. I was just scared of the Draco Meteor, in all, in all honesty. Draco is a strong move. It's, I mean, it's uh, terrifying. I explained, this, I explained this in Aaron's video, but I keep referencing that. Sorry about that, but, <laughs> I mean, it's there, so. Uh, That's true. Rayquaza has equal attacking stats at 180 each. Mm. And Draco Meteor has a base power of 130. Dragon Ascend has a base power of 120. Mm-hmm. That's pretty simple math, right? Which one's better? The one with more attack, like, or I guess more powerful. Sorry, because it's not better, but one is more powerful than the other, and therefore makes it a superior option for damage output. Yeah. And that's Draco. So you want to go special ray, so you can get the massive damage output. Of course, Dragon Ascent is required on Mega Rayquaza, so you could, most people would opt to go for the physical route, which mm. is fine because it still does a lot of damage, like. But yeah, it's still got base 180 special attack, so it's like, you don't even have to invest in it, it's still phenomenal. Ooh. Is that an Okay, okay. Focus. Okay. Okay, you're thinking about... Okay. I was hoping maybe you would decide to fake out my Kangaskhan. Yeah. I was like, maybe he'll make thinking, that mistake, I was thinking, but... I don't, I don't need to. I was thinking I don't need to, because um, whether you fake me out or not doesn't matter to me. Yeah, And if you don't fake true. me out, you just drop. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so John really considering his uh, his you know options and and deciding that you know the moves that I'm debating on going for really don't matter in the long run. So um, definitely thinking ahead and doing pretty good on that. Oh, now what do I do though, man? This is just scary. It's just all my options Fetch can. City is what this is. <laughs> there are a lot of options I can do right now, but I think I'm gonna stick with the one I'm doing right now. <laughs> oh crap! All right, well. You're going to stick with your option. I, I feel like I'm going to make a bold play here and, and assume what your option is. I think I'm just going to just gonna go for it. Whew, okay. Sometimes you just got to live. Oh, no. Yeah, I was thinking about that. No. I was thinking about it. <laughs> no, so please I decided don't. we don't want this. Please don't. Don't, oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Did you go for the Dragon Ascent? I did not. Okay. Did you go for the Draco? I did not. Really? What would you go for? The Earth Power then? Or did you, like... Protect, I, okay. I protect. There's no reason to do anything right now. Okay, I just, okay. I, I just let you do what you want. And then I just oh, kick. you got high jump kick. Woo, pop. Woo. Yep, that'll definitely... Drop oh, that it. doesn't. That doesn't take out Kangaskhan? No, not because, because you intimidated me. Oh, but that's right, okay. I'm, I'm, not, I'm like not at full power. I was going to say, because I did those calcs and low kick is like a 50% chance on, on the standard con. So high jump kick definitely should have worked. Okay, okay. Now what? Now what? <laughs> now what? That lovely, lovely question here. I think I actually know what. I, I'm actually feeling like I have a, a game plan here. As you would draw way quite... Right, you, don't, way yeah, quite well. you don't want this. <laughs> I don't want to take whatever you're dealing. Oh, Togekiss. Okay. 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 
What's coming in? Now, what'd you do on the Mian Shao? Oh, no. Oh, did you go for knockoff? Yes. No, no, no. <laughs> Knock it oh, off. shoot. I forgot you're faster, man. So there goes my power herb. Knock and off a phenomenal. Now you're stuck in the geomancy. Oh. And you're geomancy going to be normally stuck in the two geomancy. turns. Crap. Crap. That is not good. That is not good. I know what I have to do here. I have to hope for the uh, the rock slide flinch. Going for the rock slide flinch. Oh, I'm faster than you. Oh, you're faster. No, in the trick because you're choice scarf. Yeah. Oh. See, this is one of the instances where it actually worked, but oh. like it doesn't work very often. So, dude, these the are like the is, tricks, man. The good thing is, is that now he's locked in geomancy, so he's gonna have to switch out. Unless he wants to just stay in geomancy. <laughs> Unless I want to stay in, you know, that could happen. And I do get a nice little rock slide here. Not too often that you get a rock slide off in, in 16, really. Oh. That does a good amount. Oh, I that's think it not a crit. crit. Oh, it was a crit. Okay. I was going to say, that's <laughs> there's a lot of damage, actually. All right, all right. Yeah, this is definitely not a good position for me. Um, in fact, it's downright awful. <laughs> but... At least your Landris isn't a salt vested anymore. You can protect now. <laughs> that gone it, John. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I think I still know what I can do here. Um, I still have a couple of options that I that, that I do sucks, like. Though. That crit kind of sucks, to be honest. Yeah, that crit does help me out. It puts you at a, a much lower range. Um, and it's nice that you're not citrus. You know, I like to run citrus on my Togekiss. Just adds a lot of bulk. Now here, I'm just pretty much sacking Kangaskhan. Woo! As yes, that's good. Takes the high jump kick, and you know, gonna take just, it out. Just takes it out. Yep. Um, I'd rather not send in any other Pokemon to take that, and I get a Rock Tomb. Interesting off. option. Yeah. Now here's the thing. I'll explain this, John. I, I I'm sure you know the player Daiichi from Japan. Yeah. Scar. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is actually similar to his Landorus, but I ran his Worlds team last Regionals and was absolutely in love with that thing. Um, and so I I love Rock Tomb. It's been a really cool, cool option. Yeah, Adib, Adib also likes Rock Tomb a lot, mostly because mm -hmm. it's more accurate and it's slightly stronger than um, Rock Slide. On single targets? Uh, yeah, single targets. Yeah. I've been able to take out some ho -Oh's with it, which is pretty cool. Yeah, see, if you were just rock sliding and you hit ho -Oh, I wouldn't have been knocked out. ho -Oh's yeah. is bulky, like, for real. That's some good bulk. <laughs> now, this is actually pretty nice. Oh, the wide guard! No! That's right. That's right. Mian Chao gets wide guard. Mian does a lot of cool things. Uh, I was thinking you had quick guard for some reason. I was I was kind of afraid you would use. Oh, it's because you're running quick guard on yours. Though. Okay, okay. I'm yeah. not. Well, Mirror now slash she, takes me out. Now this is good because now I can just sit here and spam wide guard, and his Zerny is is stuck, and I can't do anything. <laughs> Dude, I feel like I feel like I just ran into all of your traps right now. Yeah, right. I you just. Did. I think it's because. You were thinking about making good plays, like definitely that switch back into Zerny. So I was heavily considering just going for a Draco onto your Landris. Yeah. Right there. I but was worried about like, that. But if he switches back into Zernius, I could lose my Rayquaza. <laughs> and I was like, I don't want that. <laughs> so I'm just going to go kick his Kangaskhan. Oh, crap. Well, okay, so now what we can do is, uh, is, just, is just pray that we don't get destroyed here. Try our best to, yeah, you're going to keep wide guarding, as expected. And this is actually going to be a weird move. It looks like a weird move. Oh, um, that's a good call, actually. So, so this is a weird-looking move, and I'm going to explain it. Mm. Why wide guard it and follow me? Why would I do that? Because um, it doesn't give me any offensive, like, momentum at all. Yep. The thing is, is that Togekiss can air slash the Ferrothorn, but if I don't flinch him, like I've been doing, <laughs> uh, then he will maybe knock out my Mian Shao, and then his Xerneas, who is Scarf, will be outspeeding my Rayquaza and dealing a lot of problems. So, so by using Follow Me, I guarantee that Ferrothorn takes out my Togekiss, so I can get a free switch in the ho -Oh, and then I can hopefully hit the Sacred Fire. I mean, it should be pretty simple. Uh, Sacred Fire is like 90%, right? It's 95, actually. 95. Well, it's, hey, now we know what we need to do to win, right? Haven't I haven't missed any so far. Ah, okay. Or First any, time for everything. Or any that have mattered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Matter. Uh, so Dazzling Gleam going to fall into that wide guard. I really should have gone for the Moonblast. I got uh, greedy. Uh, oh, my gosh. Oh. Uh-oh. 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 
Uh oh. There it is. Now, uh oh. This, this, this is the commentator's curse. Uh oh. <laughs> on stream. Or now like... here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. You have a, a ho oh with 156, I think, natural special defense. 154. We're close. 154. So a dazzling gleam. It's pretty obscene. It's not going to do anything. So I think at the very end of the day, you know, this is why Ho-Oh, you've opted to go for Ho-Oh is because it can wall uh, Xerneas so well. Yeah. And the I only, mean... The only type of Xerneas who can't, uh, who I can't wall out is like, um, Specs Xerneas with Thunderbolt. Like, that's a very specific thing to have. Yeah, yeah. Like Geomancy Xerneas with Thunderbolt. But mm -hmm. I don't think anyone runs Geomancy with Thunderbolt. That's just bad. Now, did you overpredict here and target the Xerneas perhaps? No, not. I did not. There's not really much of a reason. Exactly. That's what I was thinking too. So. Oh, okay. It was a critical hit. That's a critical hit, guys. <laughs> critical hit. Hello? <laughs> Sacred Fire connects. Going to take me out. That's times four week. And that looks like that is going to be game. I'm going to get it walled like out. It looks because um, I am carrying Recover. I switched, by the way. I oh, Recover. And now I'm running Recover because it's much better. What was... Okay, so did you opt for that instead of Protect? Yes. Okay, okay. So you had Protect on your old Ho-Oh set. Um, I was trying it out over Roost or Recover. I'm mm -hmm. running Roost or Recover initially. And then, oh, okay. Oh, wow. Wouldn't it be nice to Protect and keep my sub? So I put Protect over Recover, because I had left these too. So. I'll just, I'll just uh, put the Protect here. And, uh, yeah. But then I was like, Lefties is so slow. Like doing well. At the very least, at the very least, you didn't get the double Protect, and I get to at least have this be a 1-0 loss. <laughs> Yeah. If you got the double protect, see, I would have been salty. If I had hit the first Sacred Fire, it would have been a 3-0. See, the big difference. That's true. That is true. <laughs> it makes it look a lot closer than it actually is. Yes. But if you're watching, it's really good for, like, viewability. Like, yeah, yeah. This is a lot more exciting than if I had just, you know, hit Sacred Fire. Clean 3-0 sweep. And now I can brag, you know, I was like, yes, guys, I only <laughs> lost to John 1-0 in the third game. You know, it was so close. But man, it looks like that is going to be game. And so did Aaron. Aaron lost 1-0 in the last game, too. So Yeah, you guys had a very close set. Cool. It was a cool set, but really unfortunate in the last set. That was... Uh... Mm. And guys, what? since this match is pretty much all but, you know, one on my part, <laughs> um, we are actually going to be linking you guys over to Aaron Zhang's channel, Aaron Cybertron Zhang. Uh, he actually did a friendly set with John as well, That's and right. I believe we're going to be uploading that simultaneously. Yeah. So if you guys want to see John just, you know, wreck more havoc against another really good player. Well, actually, you don't know whether I won the other friendly set or not. That is true. But you guys are both very well-respected players. So regardless, it's got to it's be a good set. It's got to be a pretty good set. good set, to be honest. We made a lot of good plays and a lot of not-so-good plays. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I just made a lot of not-so-good plays, especially in Game 2, but... Oh, I it was, was just one of those things, you know, I was like, I'm facing a really good player here. Do I over predict or do I kind of, you know, predict him to do a thing and go on top of that? So yeah. See, the other is I'm going to go ahead and talk about Scarf Togekiss a little bit. But um, the reason I was running Scarf Togekiss is because uh, Xerneas is not cool. Like, <laughs> he gets Geomancy up, it's not cool. So yep. here's strategy number one. You trick it and then he's just stuck in a Geomancy. But there's a flaw with that. The flaw with that is he gets faster and he can switch out still. Hmm. So, on the old Togekiss I was running, I was just running Thunder Wave. So, like, he Geomancies, I Thunder Wave him, he's still useless. Because I can just flinch him out. So, yeah. I think, if you want to run Togekiss, don't run Trick. That's <laughs> my lesson is don't run Trick on your Togekiss. Uh, use Thunder Wave or Tailwind, because it's much better. Well, see, and I wasn't even thinking about that, but I was really worried about the Thunder Wave initially on your Togekiss. That's why I was kind of, you know, a little hesitant about But then I forgot, yeah, you're running Trick, and, and it I'm still screwed trick. me over. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right now I'm running Trick. It's for the International Challenge, which currently I'm not doing so hot in, um, but it's it's a small-time tournament, so uh, it's not really taking anything off of my season. It's he's just, being modest. You just, guys will see him at National soon enough on stream. He's going to be he's gonna be on. Or you're going to be wearing a cool hat again, right? got to wear probably, a hat, right? Probably, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yes. Okay. If you guys want to know more, be sure to watch more of John's battles. He's actually, like I said, he's gotten top four nationals before. He's a phenomenal player. So he has a lot of matches that are already uploaded onto YouTube elsewhere. So check him out. Um, and yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for doing another battle, John. No problem. It was, a, it was a pretty good one. Sadly, I didn't win this time. But that means that we can do a third rematch later on. Oh, yeah. I got to I gotta, I gotta right get my, my best two out of three in the long run, you know. 1-1 one, one right now. <laughs> 
But yes, I believe that is going to be it for the video, guys. Remember, this is going to go up with Aaron's video as well. So be sure to check that out. The link will be down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you guys enjoyed this longer match. Uh, we will actually be going back to Road to Regionals very soon, pretty much after this battle. So thank you guys again for watching. John, do you want to have any closing remarks? Uh, it was a fun time having here. Uh, that was a really good set. I actually really enjoyed it, <laughs> uh, especially after the International Challenge Best of One stuff that I've been through recently. <laughs> uh, so thanks for having me on this channel. Uh, you'll probably see me again because me and Chris are real good buddies. And uh, yeah, until next time. Awesome. You heard it from John, guys. See you later, guys. I will see you guys in the next episode. And peace out.